with me To listen inside To walk with me And think about it Okay, well, this is Ali Shamal here, and I thought it's a good idea to do a separate video on this uh, FSTH9X PCM10204, which it says here, but actually it comes with a 2.4G module, which is just here, and uh, I thought that this video I can introduce everything very, very quickly. Basically, this is a 9-channel radio in a price of, let's say, 4-channel radio, probably? Yes, it's, it's just that cheap. It is dirt cheap and I have tested this radio has no problems at all it is a good radio for all kind of things you can fly helicopters you can fly uh, six channel helicopters four channel helicopters 3d helicopters you can fly six channel airplanes four channel airplanes seven channel airplanes and you can also fly uh, those soaring uh, gliders as well uh, if you can set the 2.4g receiver in a boat you can also use it for the boats anyway this nine channel radio has a great set of uh, functions in there and it has a very good programming here it is i have just turned it on the helicopters programming functions and everything actually fits for all kind of airplanes rc stuff and helicopter and it is basically very easy to understand when first time i got this radio i didn't even look at the user manual i just browses through the menus very easily and everything was there i'm gonna give you a little glimpse of all these things here it is up and down plus minus to change the values and to select the different thing menu and exit our menu is also confirmed apart from all the buttons here uh, we will go to them one by one let us go to this quickly press the menu okay so you have system and settings go to system you have model select model name type select helicopter acrobatic airplane or uh, the glider then you have modulation but actually that is for uh, non 2.4g radio this is also available in non 2.4g and then we have a stick set you can set the what kind of stick mode you're using and then you can copy the settings of course and finally you have adjust contrast of this LCD all right this is very easy to understand and very easy to set I'm coming to the settings which is actually the settings for everything airplane helicopter or glider now I have chosen the helicopter 3d helicopter so we have lots of function we have reverse you can see uh, easily see ailerons elevator throttle uh, rudder and everything which is reverse or not so you can see uh, visually if those channels are reversed or not then we have a throttle curve and you can see the curve that you have set from here and when you move the stick you can see the curve uh, you can see the effect on the curve right there inside the LCD okay all right so this is throttle curve and this is for idle zero I mean normal mode and then idle up and then I don't know why they set it for full 100 there are three idle modes normal idle up and idle two so uh, basically you can set anything you want as per your helicopter's behavior next one we have pitch curve and you can see on normal idle one and idle two you can set it as per your setting and also when you move the throttle you can see a line moving on those things right this is great uh, next we have like sub trims end points throttle hold auxiliary channel swash after something dual rate and expose trim uh, revo curve and we have fail safe we have hover throttle we have a hover pit we have trainer function and display this is the best I like about it display this can show which stick is moving where it can show all those uh, inputs from your sticks actually so you can see how and where your controls are working this is very good function during the flight or if you want to show other people this is timer you can set the timers of course gyro sensitivity is right here then we have something like stnt trim i have no idea about that i need to find out it says state aileron elevator rudder it should be something but it's just in abbreviation so i cannot see and then we have uh oh sorry and then we have some like programming one two three actually this is programming mix for your airplanes now 
that was great let me set uh, let me see if I can set an airplane and show you the functions for airplanes let's say if I choose fly sky one and uh, I say type acrobatic that is airplane it says please wait and it is back now let us go to settings and you can see reverse trainer sub trim endpoint throttle hole flapper on dual rate expo trim idle down fail safe timer display we don't have pro uh, throttle curve or pitch curve or ho hover pitch something all those functions are gone so because this is basically now for uh, airplane i'm going back to the helicopter for the model that i'm going to fly that is 500 and uh, yep i will go back and go to the settings we have throttle curve pitch curve everything there right so it's basically that easy to use uh, above here we have elevator dual rates pitch trim and also aux 2 we have aux 3 which is also i'm using for idle mode up and down we have aileron dual rates on separate button we have other switches free switches for us to use we have rudder dual rate or hover pit and we have uh, hover throttle and we also have a trainer switch here and landing gear switch here this is basically uh, one sweet radio in my hand you can say and it's 2.4 G 9 channel in your hands what else can you expect and what else would you want in this price anytime you can order this radio from fly sky enjoy I'm going to fly the helicopter now <laughs> Uh-uh.